Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a standard product in PrestaShop. To start, simply go to your PrestaShop admin panel and then go to catalog and then go to products. And now simply click on add new product. And here simply select standard product from the type list and then enter in a name. In my case I have my name here. If you have a store with multiple languages, simply select that other language and that goes for other areas such as short description and description and simply enter in the text in that language. In this case I will only enter in information in English. As for reference code, if you have a reference code simply enter it in here. In my case I will enter in red shoes like so. As for the EAN 13 or JAN barcode, if you have one, simply enter it. And this also goes for UPC barcode. Whether the product is enabled or disabled, in my case, it will be enabled. As for visibility, this is where you'd like your uh, item to show up. Would you like it to show up everywhere in catalog only, search only, or nowhere? In my case, it will be everywhere. As for available for order, simply uh, select whether the item is available for order. If it's not, simply deselect and decide whether you want to show the price. This comes in handy if you just want to show an item that will come in uh, stock at a later time. As for whether this is an online only item, you can decide whether you want to check this off or not. Condition, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Simply uh, choose whether the item is new, used, or refurbished. And for the short description, simply enter in a short description. In my case, this is the short description. If you'd like to stylize the text, you can. For example, you can add bold text. You can add italic text, underline it, and do a bunch of other stuff. For example, you can even change the color like so. And then decide which... Uh, area of the text you want this color to apply to. For example, in my case it will be text color. If you decide to change this, simply go back to black and it will change back. And for the long description, I'm just going to enter in my long description. As for the tags, these are just tags describing your item. These are meant to uh, help your customers find items quicker. So for example, what I'll do here is I'll add the style the brand and the term high heels. Remember to separate each tag with a comma. When finished click on save and state. Now simply click on uh, prices. Here simply enter in the wholesale price. Note that this is the price that you paid and this is only visible to you. This of course is optional, so if you don't want to enter in a wholesale price, you don't have to. As for the retail price, this is the price that you're selling the item for. In my case, it will be $59. As for the tax rule, you can add a tax rule if you'd like. If not, you can simply choose no tax. If uh, deciding to add a different tax rule, you can always create tax rules by going to localization, tax rules. As for the unit price, here you can specify the price for each item that's listed in the listing. For example, if you're selling a pack of golf balls, here you can specify what each golf ball costs. So you can always type in something like, for example, if one golf ball costs a dollar out of the six, you would enter in a dollar and then here you would enter in ball like so. And it would show up on the listing page as one dollar per ball. Since I'm selling shoes here, I will not enter in this information. Would you like to display the product on sale? This is a, just a basic icon that shows up. If you'd like to uh, show the on sale icon, simply tick this off. If not, just leave it as is. When finished, simply click on save and continue. If you'd like to enter in specific prices for a specific customer group, simply click on add specific price. And here simply choose your currency and then the countries and then the groups of visitors. For example, if you want to charge more for a specific country, you can always choose that country and choose all groups. Or if you want to add a lower or higher price for a specific group, say customer, 
you would select it from the menu or you can even offer the special price to a specific customer by simply entering in their name there like so and then choosing that customer like so as for available from to these are the dates that you want the special price uh, to be offered during starting unit for example if you want to offer a discount at a starting unit of say five that person must order five or that customer group I should say must order five items in order to get that specific price for example you can enter in the specific price here by unchecking the box and entering it or you can enter in apply discount of let's say one dollar in uh, currency units and if you want percentage you can enter in say for example 25% off like so and it would be 25% off in this case I won't be adding any of specific prices so I'll just remove this and if you'd like to offer some priority management you can when finished simply move on to SEO the meta title is actually what shows up in search engines for example in areas such as this right here this in uh, Google is a search for shoes and as you can see DSW has their meta title shown right here so you can either leave this blank and use the name of the item or you can enter in a custom meta title again you can choose a separate language for each of these fields and actually enter in the term for each language as for meta description this shows up in areas such as this so you can enter in a short description that accurately describes your item for example I'll just enter in something like this and what I'll do is I'll actually uh, modify this a bit like so as for the friendly URL this is automatically generated by PrestaShop what you can do is you can actually uh, modify this if you'd like but when modifying remember to only use lowercase uh, letters numbers and dashes you don't want to use any uh, characters such as uh, commas or apostrophes or anything like that so try to keep it simple and uh, basically it should look something like what you see this friendly URL shown as when in doubt just use the generate button when finished simply click on save and stay now go to associations here simply enter in your category to see all your categories simply click on expand all and here since I don't have a category for shoes I will just select women's if you'd like to create a new category simply click on the create new category here or create a category prior to listing an item by going to catalog and categories I actually have a video on that so you can always watch that video after watching this one and you can choose a default category in my case it will be women as for accessories you can actually add matching items at the bottom of your listing what it does is it actually shows items that are similar to this one or items I should say that you recommend to your customers to buy in addition to this item so what you can do is you can simply search for an item and then simply select it and if you'd like you can actually add more like so and for the manufacturer you can simply select your manufacturer or add a new manufacturer by clicking on create new manufacturer or again by going to catalog manufacturers and listing your manufacturers there prior to creating an item and then click on save and state if you'd like to preview your item at any time simply click on the preview button here and as you can see these are those uh, recommended items that I told you about they actually show up here at the bottom of the page of course this depends on your theme on other themes it might not show up there next go to shipping here you can enter in your package width package height depth and weight if you need to change this from centimeters to inches for example and to pounds from kilograms simply go to localization and then localization once more 
and here you can enter in that information there and just save. I actually have a video on localization as well. And as for the shipping, you can choose your shipping from the list here and click on add. If you need to add a uh, shipping carrier, simply go to shipping and carriers and there simply enter in your information. If you'd like to add an additional fee per item, what you can do is you can actually enter in that fee. For example, I can enter in 50 cents and for each item that is purchased an additional 50 cents will be added only to this item in addition to the shipping cost specified right here for my carrier. When finished simply click on save and state. Next go to combinations. Here what you can do is you can actually add a combination. For example you can specify sizes or colors or uh, styles or anything that you can think of. For example I'll create a combination now. Keep in mind that the attributes that have already been set here you can actually modify or add more by going to catalog product attributes so this is basically how this will work I simply click on new combination or I can click on product combinations generator which will actually generate a bunch of uh, combinations for me a lot faster but what I'll do is I'll actually do it the slower way now just to show you how it all works so I'll simply select my shoe size attribute like so and I'll enter in my size and I'll click on add and now all of these fields are optional. If you want to enter in a separate reference code for the each size or combination, I should say, you can enter one. Same goes for EAN or JAN and UPC. Wholesale price, again, this is what you paid for the item. And impact on price, for example, if you'd like to charge more for uh, size 35 than you would for size 36 or even less, what you can do is you can select increase or decrease here in my case I will increase the price by one dollar like so so when people buy a size 35 they'll pay one dollar in addition to what the base price is as for impact on weight if this weighs more than your other item for example that's say at 36 you can enter in an increase or you can even reduce the weight for just this particular size or style or whatever you're entering in here. As for impact on unit price, again this is like my example with the golf balls. If you're selling uh, purple golf balls rather than white golf balls and if these uh, purple golf balls cost more, here you can increase the price uh, per ball or actually uh, reduce the price per ball also. As for minimum quantity, if you want to uh, set the uh, limits on this particular size for example if the person must purchase an X amount of products in order to be able to check out. As for the available date say for example I didn't have this size in stock right now I can enter in a future date when this size would be available. As for make this combination the default combination for this product if I want size 35 to show up as selected in the select menu on the product page I would check off this box if not I will leave it unchecked in this case I will leave it unchecked and I will click on save and state and now I'll simply add another size and that will be size 36 so I'll simply click on new combination and for this size I won't make any changes I'll leave the price as is I'll leave everything as is but I will make this the default so I'll check off this box right here and I'll simply click on save and state and now I'll simply go to quantities here you can enter in quantities manually as I will for each combination if you don't have combinations you simply enter in your quantity for that one product that you're selling and um, if you want to use advanced stock management you can uh, enable that here if you'd like to set your preference you can go to preferences and products over here and simply go down here to product stock and here you can enable advanced stock management and note that here you can also uh, allow ordering of out of stock products which is what you are asked here whether uh, you want to allow orders of out of stock items I don't so I'll just leave it on the default and my default is on no and simply click on save and state. If you'd like to change the availability settings you can for example you can change the text that is displayed for in stock items and you can also specify text for back ordering when allowed and you can again 
choose a specific language. When entering in custom values, remember to click on Save and State. After finished with this page, simply go to Images. Here, simply click on Add File and choose your image. and click on upload and if you'd like to add another image simply click on add file and add your other image and click on upload here you can decide which image is uh, shown as the default cover photo in my case it will be this one and if you'd like to change the position of the images you can like so and then simply click on save and state Next go to features. Here you can add features obviously as shown such as height, width, depth, weight, compositions, styles, properties, etc. To actually add more values or remove some of these values or uh, edit some of these values simply go to catalog and then product features. Note that features are shown in this section of the product page right here. So what I'll do is I'll simply choose my features like so and I'll simply click on save and state and next I'll go to customization. So here you can add file fields and text fields. For example, you can enter in a number for file fields and a number for text fields. Say for example, you enter two for file fields. There will actually be two file fields on the product listing page and for text fields, if you add two as well, there will be two text fields. And with the file fields, the customer can upload an image. Say, for example, you're selling customizable t-shirts. They can actually upload the image that they want you to print on the t-shirt using this file field. And with the text field, for example, if they want a logo on the t-shirt, they can actually enter in the text in the text field and then simply submit that information when purchasing the item. So say, for example, I add one file field and one text field and I click on save and state. Here it asks us if we want to make this a requirement. If we set required on each of these, the customer will be required to upload an image and to enter text. And you can even define a label. And you can again choose a language for that label. For example, here you can enter in something like upload your design. And here you can enter in enter text for your logo or something like that. And then you click on save and state. Now you can go to attachments. Here you can add files as attachments for your listing. For example, if you want to offer a manual for a product that you're selling, the customer can actually look through the manual and get a better understanding of how that product works or whatever else you'd like to offer as a preview or as a download or something that gives them a better understanding of how something works. You can always add that attachment here by simply entering in the file name, description, and then click on add file. And then for example, simply choose that file like so, and then simply choose it from the menu and click on add, and then click on save and state. When finished, go to suppliers. If you'd like to add suppliers, you can do so here. If uh, your supplier isn't listed here, you can always create a new supplier here or by going to catalog and clicking on supplier. And for references, you can also add references if you'd like by selecting the supplier and then clicking on save and state and then simply entering in the reference details here. When finished simply click on save and state. And now that our item has been listed we can preview the item like so and as you can see we have our sizes here and as you can see 36 is the default because we set it as the default and if we choose size 35, as you can see, a dollar is added to the price. And as you can see, we also have our two images. And this image was set as the cover photo because that's what we chose. And then we have our data sheet with the information that we selected. And then we also have our accessories here. And we also have our download, which is available for preview. And we also have the product customization. For example, here people can choose to upload a design and enter in their text. So basically, that's that. That's how you list the standard product in PrestaShop. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.